Deciding if you need a copyright, patent, or trademark can be confusing and frustrating. They serve different purposes, but are all very important to your business and intellectual property. In this video, we'll cover what property these rights apply to, how long the rights last, what rights are secured, if they can be transferred, who can apply, and where to apply. First, let's review what property these rights apply to. Copyrights apply to any artistic pieces, including works of architecture, drama, film, illustration, literature, music, painting, photography, poetry, and theater. Patents apply to new inventions. There are three types of patents. A design patent is for an original design created for a manufactured article. A plant patent is for a new plant that was invented or discovered, then asexually produced. A utility patent is for any chemical composition, industrial process, machine, manufactured article, or useful improvement of any of the aforementioned. Trademarks apply to designs, devices, names, phrases, slogans, symbols, words, or any combination of the previously mentioned. Next, let's cover how long the rights last for. If a work was made by an individual, its copyright lasts for the artist's life plus 70 years. If a work was made anonymously, pseudonymously, or for hire, the copyright lasts 95 years from the publication date or 120 years from the creation date. Patents last 15 to 20 years depending on their type. Trademarks must be renewed every 10 years. Additionally, it's important to know what rights are secured. Copyrights give their owners the exclusive right to reproduce their work, create spin-off pieces based on their work, sell, rent, lease, or lend copies of their work, perform or display their work in public, or authorize all of these rights to another person. Patents exclude any person other than the owner from importing, making, selling, or using the invention without consent. Trademarks include the exclusive right to use the mark for goods of service. Now you also want to know if they can be transferred. A copyright can be left to a beneficiary in a will, a bequest, or a contractual reassignment. A patent can be dispersed in probate, mortgage, sold, willed, or transferred. A trademark can be transferred to another person through a process called assignment. But what about who can apply? The original artist or author of a creative work can apply for a copyright if an employee created a work under the scope of their job responsibilities. Their employer owns the work and can apply for the copyright. An inventor can apply for a patent on their invention. If they're incapacitated or deceased, their legal representative or estate executor can apply for a patent on their behalf. A joint inventor can apply for a patent without their co-inventor if the co-inventor cannot be found or refuses to apply. Anyone can file for an application for a trademark with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. And how about where to apply? You can register for a copyright at copyright.gov and apply for a patent or a trademark at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office website, uspto.gov. So there are plenty of legal documents online. If you're in need of a copyright or trademark infringement cease and desist letters, copyright release forms, non-patent disclosure agreements, or any other form. We have thousands of state-specific ready-to-go templates available for you to download, all for free. Go to eForms.com to get your forms instantly.